Tammy Abraham is the next big thing, and I'm going to prove it to you all in this video. Chelsea's Wonder Kid is surely living his dream. He is surely eyeing on becoming a club legend, and I can assure you that he will surely become one. Hey folks, this is Goal Side, and today we'll let you all know about how good is Chelsea's Wonder Kid Tammy Abraham. But before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Okay, let's begin by this very unusual thing that Abraham was able to do on his birthday. He netted it in the 22nd minute on his 22nd birthday to get Chelsea off to a perfect start in their Champions League group stage clash with Lily on Wednesday. The fans were shocked to learn about it and helped Abraham make waves in the footballing world. Well, things like these often happen with big stars of the game. One good example that I can recall is Cristiano Ronaldo. Whenever he scores in the 7th minute of a game, the headlines turn out to be like, CR7 scored in the 7th minute. That is solely because number 7 is attached with him unlike anything else. Anyways, Abraham is currently second on the top goal scorers list in Premier League, only behind Sergio Aguero with a difference of just one goal. If you consider his age, this gives us a good reason to believe that he could do that for not just the rest of the season, but also for all the seasons to come. Abraham is not just a good goal scorer, but he's also very fast. Whenever Chelsea is looking for a counterattack, we could all see him run from one end of the field to another in just a few seconds. Moreover, the 22-year-old is praised for his attitude during the game. He always seems focused. He's always very emotional on the field, and he's been seen arguing with the referee quite a few times, but maybe that's because he just loves football so much that he doesn't like losing at all. Tammy Abraham isn't like those one-season glories like David Villa. I know I must have offended a lot of people out there by that statement, but I say that because after the FIFA World Cup 2010, David never really made a huge mark in the world of football. Although he won La Liga titles with both Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, but we didn't see him dominate the top scorer list after the World Cup. Why do we think Abraham is going to be different than David Villa is because of his fitness. Tammy Abraham puts a lot of time in the gym working out. This hard work has rewarded him with yet another opportunity. Yes, he has been asked to play England's national team, but he's yet to make a decision whether he wants to play from England or Nigeria. This is what he had to say on the matter. I haven't made a decision yet. I'm focusing on the club. It's always a privilege to be wanted by both nations. I love both nations, and for me, I'm clearly doing something right for Chelsea. My time will come. Certainly, his time will come. He's doing everything he can to become a household name in the football circuit. If he keeps doing what we believe he'll keep doing, then he'll build a strong reputation for himself. And hey, we're not the only ones who think that. Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand also reserved special praise for him. In the BT Sports Studio after the Group H clash, Rio said, Do you know what I love about this kid? It's that when he was scoring loads of goals, they had Dominic Solanke and everyone in the house thought he was the one. They thought Solanke was better than him. He's had to go out on loan. He's had to go out and prove himself at various clubs in the Champions League, and he did exactly that. He's improving game by game. Rio wasn't the only one who praised Tammy Abraham. Glenn Hoddle added, he's going to be one hell of a player in two or three seasons' time. These are exciting times for Chelsea. The entire football universe is rooting for Abraham right now. From football fans to sports journalists, from football commentators to football legends, everyone thinks he has the potential to be, like I said, the next big thing. But now it's all up to Tammy Abraham. There are several questions that only time will reveal, whether Abraham would be able to keep up with his current performance or not, whether this was only a result of a good form or is he really that good, whether he is overrated or not. Well, we'd like to hear from you guys on that. People, do you think he has what it takes to be a football legend? Do you guys feel he's going to remain in the list of top goal scorers until the end of the season or not? And also, if you can counter the argument with reasons that Tammy Abraham won't be a successful footballer in the future, then please do put your thoughts in the comments section below, and we might make another video on the same topic to answer. Well, that's all today from Goal Side. We'll see you on the next video.